Um, I think a treasure is something that makes people feel good, a sense of place, something that they want to be belong to. Um, the treasures of Kinsale are a collection of all those things. Um, it's the sense of community in Kinsale, really. I think it's amazing. I haven't felt it anywhere else that I've lived. Yeah. Uh, a treasure to me is something I look forward to doing. Uh, nothing comes to mind particularly. Uh, I think what comes to mind to me more so are barriers. I know there's treasures here, but I think there's obstacles also to, to getting to those treasures. Yeah, hidden treasures, absolutely. Sandy Cove Island. I just didn't, I didn't think of it when I was thinking of the town. If I was to think of a treasure, I would say it was something that would be very precious, something that I'd be very lucky to have, and something that I would not find again. Finbar Hurley would be somebody that would, 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 in my experience, be somebody that would have influenced me and be a treasure, as I say, that we won't find again. The treasures of Kinsale to me is probably the whole town itself, its culture, the aspect, the architecture, the beauty, the harbour and, uh, and the culture that surrounds it. I think, I think what I think a treasure is, is something you come on by mistake, it's a surprise, uh, it's a delight, it's something you didn't expect to find uh, and it changes everything. I think very clearly my, the treasures of Kinsale for me are coming into this town, you might have had a bad day in the studio, you come into some daft shop and somebody is acting ridiculous and then you go on the street and, and you meet someone that you didn't expect to meet at all and you do end up going for coffee and you, you go back in a completely different humour. I suppose something rare, something that can be appreciated, something that's nice. I'd have to say to people, people can say, they've been very good to us mm. and they support us all the time. We, we, we really do appreciate it. This is a cuckoo clock. It's dated around 1960s. It's Swiss. And uh, it's running a little, um, a little fast at the moment, so I need to alter it. Thousand for it the other day. Wow. But he. Uh, Hold on a second, now. It's a Swiss cuckoo clock. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong place as well. Right. Okay. They're not. This is a writing table. It's mahogany, and it's dated around 1910. And this is a very old letter opener. Look at that. It's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, they are all Avon representatives. Avon lady representatives over the years. And um, they collect his pieces, really. You know? He's a shepherd. And um, that's also... Royal Dalton. Treasure is something that you keep and you hold in your mind. Uh, something that gives enjoyment to other people. Something not to be coveted, to be shared. Treasures of Conseil would be its people, its views, its buildings, its uniqueness, its coastal surrounding. It's its integration with the outside, it's the welcoming of other cultures, other things to conceal, it's 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 its maritime past and it's its future. Then you do it. Or this video. Definition of a treasure would probably be something without the quality of my life would be not quite as good as it is. It's
corny, but it's the people. What I found as a blow into the town of Kinsale is they very quickly gave you a label. Mine became Andrew from the tourist office. So it gave me a pigeonhole within the set of pigeonholes that is Kinsale from which to operate from and expand. So to me, that's it. The full, fertilizer, full, white house. Jim Edwards. Memorable things, things that, that are out of the ordinary, you know, uh, things that we value, things that we admire in general. Because he's the best dame in pantomimes I have ever seen, and he's much more than that. He's an incredibly gifted comic actor who's very aware of the people around him. If you make a mistake, he covers up. He's a brilliant writer. Sometimes the script changes as he responds to his audience. He's completely gifted. I'd say it's the first time we're doing it, you know? And, um, okay. Um, I would regard the treasure as being something that has a value in that it enhances a location or a person. A person can be a treasure. Uh, they enhance the lives of those people around them or a place. I think, I think the greatest treasure we have in Kinsale is the harbour and its surrounds. Uh, I think it, from my opinion, and I'm biased, it's unique. I think the, the best way to grasp what a great treasure Kinsale Harbour is to Kinsale and its environs is to go off to Charlesworth and look back into the harbour. I don't think there's any place in Ireland compared to it. The treasures of my whole life are my family, my wife, and in three days' time, this Friday, I'll become a father, God willing. That is the treasure in my life, my family. For me, it's the stories. The stories that are in Kinsale and the freedom in telling those stories to people and to visitors is really what I feel are the precious treasures of Kinsale. A treasure in my life is something that I survive for every day and that's my, my health. That is, you know, probably so obvious, but it truly, is a treasure when you feel that that has been threatened or taken away. Okay, well, it just links into that whole treasure of life and of health. And um, for me, the pink ribbon um, that we have, you know, generated in Kinsale and bringing such an awareness to everybody about about breast cancer, about their health, about their welfare, about just going out there and looking after themselves. That to me is such a treasure to have and that we speak about that is in Kinsale and uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful and amazing energy um, to be part of. So yeah, that would be my thing. Where I live. Fantastic area, beautiful place, couldn't ask for more. The outstanding treasure for me in Kinsale is overlooked a lot, it's the harbour. I spent a lot of time in Kinsale Harbour, quite literally as a kid, and places like Prahan Point, Hangman's Point, Platters and Dishes, fabulous places, Money Point, I was fishing around them, swimming around them, sailing around them. Not enough tourists get into Kinsale Harbour, not enough locals get into Kinsale Harbour and know it from the inside. If you ever want to see the White Lady, do it from the harbour because that's where I saw her. The Carmelite Friary and the parish church and the harbour. Well, I suppose the, um, the Carmelite church, yeah. Oh, something valuable or something worth preserving. Well, I'm interested in history, so things like the the barracks, which is mostly gone, um, parts of the harbour that um, date back to what Victorian times, 
And of course the uh, yeah the forts, um, Don Cajon, Don Seamus, things like that appeal to me. And the old town wall perhaps, although I'm not sure. I must do some research into that, see mm. where it goes. Mm. Having good health, be able to get out for walks, uh, do my little bit of gardening and uh, be happy in my own skin. Uh, fresh air, being near the seaside and long walks. <laughs>